What does this mean exactly? Can you wrap what's happening with FHLB, not to mention First Republic? Well, yeah, First Republic, of course, is the poster child of banking stress right now. But what we got from this federal home loan program report, Bloomberg reporting, according to sources familiar with the matter, is basically confirmation that banks are facing real liquidity challenges, hence the tapping of that $304 billion in debt issued, as you just mentioned. This FHLB program is known as the lender of next to last resort. This is a depression era backstop that banks do have the ability to tap. Of course, the lender of last resort being the Federal Reserve with that traditional liquidity backstop, the discount window. And as you alluded to, we did get data last week that banks had tapped that as well to the tune of $165 billion uh, in Fed programs, $152 billion dollars of that and change of the discount window, which was a record. It just really shows you that they are dealing with these liquidity challenges as we see a rush of deposits out of some of these mid-sized lenders after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. Now, First Republic enters the conversation here because, of course, it too has been targeted as one of those banks that has similar concentration risk in terms of its depositor base. We saw $30 billion in deposits coming from 11 larger banks in an attempted rescue last week. That did not stick with the market. The stock was down 33 percent on Friday, down 47 percent today to a record low. After after getting downgraded for the second time in less than a week by S&P Global Ratings, who said that $30 billion, not a long-term solution. They're really going to struggle with attracting meaningful deposits going forward. So the future of that bank very much in question. We do now know, though, uh, according to Bloomberg reporting, that J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon is leading a conversation about maybe continued aid and converting that $10 billion in deposits into a capital infusion. Kelly, we're still watching, of course, uh, what's going on with the bank that kicked it all off, Silicon Valley Bank. The FDIC auction hmm. process is still underway. Uh, is Fed citizens still hoping to strike a deal? And there's also this sort of story about SVB trying to get money back from the bridge bank. Yes. So this auction process has taken quite some time, obviously. They didn't find a bidder uh, for Silicon Valley Bank over two weekends ago, hence the action we saw from the FDIC, Fed and Treasury jointly. Instead, they also did not accept a bid over the weekend. But Bloomberg is reporting that First Citizens, which is a massive uh, buyer of failed banks, it's bought about 20 failed banks since 2009, did make a bid on Sunday for all of SVB. But the FDIC saying now that they are extending that bidding through Friday and are going to allow bidders to bid on two separate parts of SVB, the Bridge Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, and then SVB uh, Private Bank as well. But as you were alluding to, there also is that conversation around the $2 billion the company said it needed to reorganize in bankruptcy. Regulators taking that back.